Okay, in our last video, we created a maze background and we've already got our sprite, but at the present, our sprite can't move. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the code option here. We need to make sure our sprite selected and you can see I've selected my crocodile because the crocodile is showing here. If I click on the background, the background will show here and the background is possible to program, but that's not what we want to do today. So we're going to program the sprite, so selecting the sprite here, checking it's here. And all we're going to do to start with is create some simple movement. So we can use the event blocks and the events when an, in, an interaction occurs. In this case, it's when we press on some keys. So we're going to use the when space button is pressed. And I'm going to zoom a little bit to make it a bit clearer. And I don't actually want the space button, I want the arrow key. So I change space to the up arrow. And I can repeat this. So I've got a down arrow. I've got a right arrow. And unsurprisingly, I've got a left arrow. And I've organized them on my screen like this so I can actually see how they look on the keyboard. You don't necessarily have to do that. Now, when I press on my arrow keys, nothing happens. And you can see it flashes away here. So the event button is receiving my arrow button uh, signals, but it doesn't know what to do with it. So now we need to go to the motion. And on the motion, we need to set some movement. Now, there are two ways to do this. We can use move a certain number of steps. But we want to think about our X and Y coordinates. So remember, X is when we go across, and Y is when we go up and down. So when we go right, we want to change X by 10. Now, see, when I press my right arrow key, crocodile moves right. When I press up and down and left, nothing happens. Y is up and down. So we, when we go up, we want to change Y by 10. When I press up, the crocodile can now go up and it can go right, but it still can't go down or left. And because they're the opposite way, what we do is the same thing. But instead of change x by 10, it becomes x, change x by minus 10. And instead of change y by 10, it becomes change y by minus 10. We're just adding the whole minus symbol in there. And now my crocodile can move around. But you'll remember when we made the crocodile, we added some costumes. We added a left and right costume. So what we want to do here is we want to go into the looks option, because this is how the sprite looks. And when we press the right button, we want to switch the costume to right. You should see that a bit more clearly there if I move that across. And when we press the left button, unsurprisingly again, you want to switch the costume to left. So you choose the right one and just change that to left. And now my crocodile can go right, but it can also go left. And my crocodile can go up and down. So it's starting to be able to navigate, and we can add some extra bits onto that in a second.